I met Miss Jones in the parking lot, and she introduced herself as the oldest member of the church. I'm, I'm grateful. I am grateful. I'm grateful. I want to thank God for this pastor. I want to thank God for his wife. I want to thank God for this leadership. I want to thank God for the membership of our Metropolitan Church. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, I'm from the cornfields of Iowa, so I, I don't mind you saying amen. amen. I don't mind you saying hallelujah. Amen. I don't mind that. Amen. amen. I don't mind that at all. I bring you greetings uh, from the Kansas City District. I bring you greetings, of course, from Kyle's Church in Des Moines. Uh, Iowa, uh, I will venture uh, to say, because I'm one of the two presiding elders, I bring you greetings from the Missouri Conference. Yeah. Let the church say amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 To uh, our colleague up here, uh, the doctor, as he was introduced, uh, to um, Sister Jimison, and to, of course, our uh, colleague, Reverend Frankie Witherspoon, and his wife. God, God bless you. God bless you much. God bless you much. Uh, let me uh, say I feel like the preacher who went on his first uh, appointment to, to preach on that Sunday, and the uh, the rain, like it was earlier, it rained all morning and it was pouring, almost a deluge. And uh, only one member came to church that Sunday, <laughs> his first Sunday. And so he got up in the pulpit and he said, I I don't know, they didn't teach us in seminary what to do when only one member come to church. <laughs> so the brother in the pew said, uh, Mr. Preacher, I ain't no preacher, I'm a farmer. All I know is when I go to feed my cow. And when the one shows up, I don't give him the whole load. <laughs> That's right. This morning, I want to let you know that though you have come out more than one in numbers, I'm going to give you the whole room. <laughs> let us bow our heads. Father, in Jesus' name, we surrender ourselves and we surrender this congregation. Hide us behind the cross this hour. Speak your word. That it will be a lamp unto our feet and a light to our pathways. Amen. Oh God, save the lost today. Restore the backslider today. And strengthen your church. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray now that Holy Spirit, you will take control of this service. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 And amen. I want to thank my wife for hanging out with me. Amen. Amen. She, she been trying to do it for a little over 40 years, and we thank God. Amen. 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 I thank God for her. And I say, and maybe you have heard me say that, if I had listened to her during these years, I would have been richer. <laughs> and I would have been healthy. But check this out, I'm ne neither richer, <laughs> Neither am I healthy. All right. I, I plan to listen now. <laughs> but beloved, we 
have come to share with you on this metropolitan day uh, from the subject, the model ministry for the modern Christ church. Amen. Amen. The model ministry yes, sir. for the modern Christ church. Amen. Amen to this. Amen. Amen. Our text is found in the scripture that was read in our hearing earlier from the Gospel of John. Yes. And later the Gospel of Mark. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Metropolitan, you have a long history of celebrating Metropolitan Day. I came to tell you today that even though you have had a long history, John the Baptist has something to say to you. All right. All right. All right. And to say to me. All right. Yeah. Yes. The modern church still needs the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The modern church still needs to be refreshed, refreshed by this gospel. Man. John the Baptist is a rusty preacher. Yes, yes. Yes. A primitive preacher. All right. An uncultured preacher, an uneducated preacher, unmarried preacher, but he has a word for us today. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen today. Amen. Beloved God, look at the model that John has. And this model will bless Metropolitan, it will bless Kyle, it will bless the Kansas City District, it will bless the Missouri Conference, and it will bless this city called Kansas City. Amen. The model is giving out the gospel matters most. Amen. 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 Giving out yeah. the gospel. Matters most. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen today. Amen. Beloved of God, John comes on the scene, and 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 it is it is uh, right after the uh, four hundred years between the testament. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. He comes on the scene, and he's there at the Jordan River, and he's preaching. One day he sees Jesus coming into his direction. Amen. John said, Look, the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 That takes us away the sins of the world. Amen. Lamb of God. In this model, John calls attention to Jesus. Amen. The modern church cannot get so modern that it forgets that 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 the, the foundation of the gospel is Jesus. Yeah. Is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look yeah. at the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Yeah. John seems to interrupt what he's doing when he sees Jesus coming. And, and he calls attention. He stops everything. Yeah. And he says, look at the Lamb of God. Yeah. Yeah. Metropolitan 28, 28 prospect. That's what we must do. Begin to call attention to Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. The elder is, 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 is a good title. The pastor is a good title. The bishop is a good title. title but it is Jesus that we must call attention to. Amen today. Amen. Jesus must be at the heart of the gospel. Amen. At the heart of the evangelion, Amen. the good news. Jesus is, is the subject and the predicate yeah. of the gospel. And yeah. Jesus is urging in the contemporary church. Jesus, our beloved God, is Emmanuel, yeah. God with us. Yeah. I came to remind somebody that Jesus saves. Yeah. Hallelujah today. 
Yes, I came to tell our, our, our metropolitan that we must tell our children, still tell our children that Jesus is the answer for the world today. We must still tell our millennials that Jesus is the answer to the world today. We must still tell Gen Z that Jesus is the answer to the world today. We must still tell Gen Alpha that Jesus is the answer to the world today. We must still tell the 8 billion people of the world that Jesus is the answer to the world today. Hallelujah today. He's preeminent. John says, ah, that, that he was before me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Something has gotten into us. Yeah. Uh, some call it the post-modern age. Yeah. Yeah. That, that we think we are sophisticated. Yeah. That we think we are cool. Yeah. Yeah. And we can, we can sidetrack Jesus. Yeah. But I've got news for you. Yeah. Without Jesus, there is no church. Yeah. Without Jesus, there is no worship. Yeah. Without Jesus, yeah. there is no praise. Yeah. Without Jesus, there is no prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah yeah. to God. So John said, Lord, he calls attention to yes. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah today. Yes, but, but not only does John call attention to Jesus, he calls attention to the cross of Jesus. Yes. Yes. All right. That's right. Ah, right. can I preach today? Amen. He calls attention to the cross yes, sir. Yes, sir. of Jesus. Yes, can I remind somebody? As sophisticated as the modern church is, yeah. ah, we must not stop preaching the cross. Right. Can I tell Sunday school teachers today? Right. In our classrooms, we must teach about the cross of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah today. Oh, it is not our eloquence that matters. It is not our education that matters. But the cross saves. Hallelujah, Hallelujah today. Those of you who have been hanging out with, with, with the church for a long time, I came to remind you, you didn't make it this far because you were kind, because you were benevolent. But it is the cross of Jesus that saved you one day and has kept you over the years. Somebody ought to say amen. Somebody ought to say hallelujah to you. It is the cross. Because at the cross, I had to put nails in his hands. At the cross, they put a crown of thorn on his head. At the cross, they speared him in the side. At the cross, the Bible says both water and blood came out of him. Where have we gotten to the place now that we don't want to talk about the blood? I came to tell you without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Hallelujah today. We cannot live this Christian life on our own power. It is the cross of Jesus. Hallelujah today. It's the cross. Listen to John. John says, the Lamb of God who takes away. Yeah. All right. That's the picture there of the cross. Yeah. He takes away the sins yeah. of the world. Yeah. Amen today. Yeah. He takes away what? The sins of the world. Yeah. Uh, it seems as like even uh, today that we don't even want to talk about sin. Uh, the modern church has gotten too modern that we don't even want to talk about sin. But I came by, I didn't stop. Your pastor invited me. I came to tell somebody that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life. Hallelujah today. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah today. We must proclaim the cross of Jesus. The cross of Jesus. It's through the foolishness of preaching the cross yes. that men are saved. If you're here today and you're not saved, I want to call your attention to the cross of Jesus. Hallelujah today. The cross of Jesus. So John calls attention first to Jesus and he calls attention in that 29th verse to the cross of Jesus. But check this out. 
He calls attention to the mission of Jesus. It's all in the 29th verse. He says, he says, uh, behold the Lamb. Uh -huh. oh. Talking about Jesus. Yes. That taken away the sins of the world. Yes. The picture of the cross. Uh -huh. The sins of the world is the mission. That's why he came. He came. The innovations in the modern church are great. Come on. Come on. The innovations in the modern church are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, but we cannot forget the mission of the church. Right. Oh, no. The mission of Jesus yeah. is to save. I don't know, I don't I didn't remember to to, to to Google it what the population is of a Kansas City. Well but I want to tell somebody that the mission of Jesus is to save Kansas City. Yeah. Hallelujah. Despite the violence and despite what's going on, Jesus can save Kansas City. The church must not give up. Ah, the model, the model that John the Baptist raised, he calls attention to the mission of Jesus. To save. Hallelujah today. Some people are arguing that 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 is it is it's like this, that 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 Jesus can, but he will not save all. I've got news for you. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I've got news for you today. I don't care if somebody is snubbing cocaine, Jesus can save you. If somebody is into alcohol, Jesus can save them. If somebody is in illicit life, Jesus can save them. Jesus can turn life around. Hallelujah today. The model that John the Baptist brings is that the church, the modern church, must call attention to the mission of Jesus. Yes. Oh yes. We must identify with the destitute. We must identify with victims of disaster. But beloved, the mission of the church is that folk will be saved on 28, 28 plus. Folk will be saved. In our family, folk will be saved. Beloved of God, not only does John the Baptist call attention to, to, to Jesus, not only does John the Baptist call attention, hallelujah, uh, to, to the mission of Jesus, but, but he calls attention to the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. There are three times in the text that Spirit is mentioned All right. with a capital S. Yeah. Right. All right. You can't make it metropolitan. Yeah. I'm without the Spirit of God. You, you can't make it with all of the educators in the church. All right. All right. You can't make it I'm without the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to me. The love of God. Metropolitan, ah, uh, let me say to you today, hey. the Holy Spirit can move in the congregation. Yeah. Uh, the Holy Spirit can work in the congregation. Yeah. The Holy Spirit can save in the congregation. Yeah. Yeah. He can turn men and women around. Yeah. He can turn boys and girls around. Yeah. He knows the mind of God. The Holy Spirit is the teacher. Can I preach this morning? The Holy Spirit is the convictor. The Holy Spirit is the God. Hallelujah today. The Holy Spirit can bring fire in the church. Somebody ought to hear it today. If your heart is cold, he, he when he comes into your life, he can turn your life around. Hallelujah today. Talking about the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. All right. Jesus told them, All right. don't leave Jerusalem yeah. until the promise yes. my father has given you come. Yes, sir. And they waited. 
Well, hallelujah today, but but one on that day of Pentecost. Yeah. Hey. While they were in the upper room, come on. Hey. Come on. I'm talking with the hey. world. Well, well, something happened. Okay. Yeah. Can I tell somebody in this congregation today? Yeah. Oh, we may look casual and ordinary, but yeah. when the Holy Spirit gets in, yeah. He's gonna turn things yeah. around. Yeah. He's gonna turn lives around. Yeah. He's gonna change yeah. direction. Yeah. He's gonna change yeah. program. Yeah. Hallelujah to me. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit yeah. working in marriage. Yeah. The Holy Spirit working in families. Yeah. The Holy I 
one personality. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. I've got a problem. Yes. 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 Calling God a force. All right. yes. No, no, God is not a force. Yes. Yes. God is the divine person. John said, the one who sent me, yeah. a force has to send in the body. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the, the modern church yeah. must get back yeah. to talking about God. Yeah. 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 Oh, then they cancel him uh, in, in our culture. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but God is the same yesterday, yes, 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 yes. today, and forever. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, today. Yes, yes beloved. Yes, beloved. I thank God that the John the Baptist model well, says we must call attention uh, yes. to Jesus. Call attention to the cross yes. of Jesus. Call attention to the mission of Jesus. Yes. Call attention to the Holy Spirit. Yes. And call attention to God the Father. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Hear me from all <laughs> so John in this model yeah. call attention to those five areas but let me see if I can move uh, towards my conclusion Amen. the John the Baptist model calls attention to moral truth all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Somebody say moral truth. Oh, yeah. Moral oh, truth. Amen. Yes. <laughs> the moral truth according according to the Judeo Christian of faith. All right. All right. Does not shift. All right. I heard some of you join this church in the fifties. Yeah. Ah, uh, God's truth has not changed. Right. Yeah, right. Those who joined this church in the forties and yeah. the thirties. Yeah. And those who came and built this church over a hundred years ago. Yeah. God is the same God. Yeah. Hallelujah to yeah. 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 Why does it seem like everybody is right nowadays? Uh -huh. There is no more wrong. Right. Yes, say I'm okay, you are okay, we're okay. Let's go on our journey. Ah, yeah. the love of God. Yeah. Yeah. The church itself, especially the modern church, we are too silent. All right. Ah, ah on moral issues. Uh -huh. In Mark's gospel that our sister read this morning, John the Baptist looked at Herod. Uh -huh. He said to Herod, Ah, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Yeah. Yeah. You see, Herod had gone to visit his brother. Uh -huh. And he seduced his, his brother Philip's wife. That's right. Uh -huh. And Herodias left Philip uh -huh. and, and, and left her marital home. Yeah, right. I know I'm preaching today. Yeah. Right. Left her marital home yeah. and went and got uh, married to Herod the yeah. governor. Yeah. Right. But can I tell somebody today? Yeah. Yes. John the Baptist looked at Herod in the eye yeah. and said, It is not lawful. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Yeah. I don't care how big your preachers are. Yeah. I don't care how big your office is. Yeah. It is not lawful yeah. for you to take your brother's wife. Yeah. We got all kinds of things yeah. uh, going on today. Yeah. Pastor, sadly, even in the church, yeah. Yeah. that we hear no evil. All right. We speak no evil. And we see him no evil. Lord have mercy today. So he jailed John the Baptist. Uh -huh. Put the brother in jail. Uh -huh. But there was something about John. Yeah, Can I tell somebody today? Uh -huh. They may disagree with us. Uh -huh. But if the Holy Spirit is in the midst. Uh -huh. He will keep working on the hearts. Uh -huh. Hallelujah today. Uh -huh. God, the Bible says. Uh -huh. 
Herod used to like to listen to Job. Something about the gospel. When it gets in somebody's heart, when it gets into somebody's life, it troubles their life. Hallelujah to me. He, I believe sometimes he used to send for John just to listen to him. But can I tell somebody today? Can I bless somebody today? It is not adequate just to listen. Hallelujah. But we must stick, we must stick the gospel to heart. We must act on it. Herod used to like to listen. John the Baptist said it's wrong. Yeah. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. Fasten your seatbelts. As I go, get ready to go to my seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he did. John. Mm -hmm. Ah, the moral truth that is of a Judeo Christian nature. Ah, sometimes it can be an antiseptic. Hallelujah today. Wow. It can clean things out. I know I, I'm not as strong as some of you, but sometimes um, when shaving it over, you put some alcohol there. Oh, it stinks. I let the church say amen. Yes, the love of God. We need moral truth in our families. Right. We need moral truth in our community. Yes. We need moral truth in our state. Yes. And sure enough, we need moral truth in this, the USA. Yes. Yeah, we must teach our children morals. We must not step and everything is okay. Ah, when moral uh, truth begins to shift. The society begins to shift. The family begins to shift. When everybody is right, something is wrong with that picture. When we say the Ten Commandments is a kid, something is wrong with that picture. When family can, when we cannot stop her and say to Johnny, it's time to get off that iPad. It's family devotion time. When we can't say to little Sarah, you got to put that cell phone up so we can talk to God. Something is wrong with that picture. Ah, when a young man is 22 years old and has nine children, something is wrong with that picture. When a girl is 19 years old and has five children, there is something wrong with that picture. John the Baptist looked at hell. He said, it's all lost. We got to say to young men and young women who are in the church, Though it may be right out there, but as far as this church is concerned, we are going with the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. It may be old-fashioned to you, but we are going with the Bible. Let the church say amen. Let the church say hallelujah. Let us admit these are earthen vessels. We are earthen vessels. And many times we blow it. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We must not stop preaching it. We must not stop teaching it. The Bible says all of our righteousness is as filter rags. We can't say everybody is good. We are on our way to heaven. We must stop for a moment and say yes. Though we are in this earthen vessel, but there is a man from Galilee whose name is Jesus. He cannot only repair the earthen vessel, but he is the potter. He can break and remold the earthen vessel. I know I'm talking to somebody today. Yes, we need to live moral truth. We need to teach moral truth. Hallelujah today. John the Baptist, 
It's not we must lift moral support. Well, yes. And we must give uh-huh. moral support. Hallelujah to you. Beloved of God, something is happening. Well, uh, I, I know that you may not invite me to come back. <laughs> but 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 if, if I'm reappointed presiding elder, I will come to the quarterly conference, and maybe that will be it. But something is wrong. Hallelujah today. I don't care who's listening. I don't care who's watching. Something is wrong with the picture that I see in this great nation. Hallelujah today. We say, okay, the Bible says in Matthew, God made male and female, but it's all right. Yes, if Sarah said to Joanna, I'm in love with you, but I came to say we must stand up for moral truth. Hallelujah today. Somebody says, Seth, you may be right, but what about a man who's not married to a woman? That is sinful, and they're living together. But I'm talking about what we have approved now. John the Baptist said to Herod, you are wrong, according to the book of Leviticus. And chapter 18, you are wrong. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go to Romans chapter 1. God gave them up up to a vile affection. Yes, beloved, it is in my family. I came to tell somebody it is in my family. But thanks be to God, he is able to change lives. He is able to change condition. He is able to change situation. Let the church say amen. If it's in your family, like it's in my family, go on your knees some more and say, God, turn it around. God, change it. Our children are watching too many things. It's too acceptable in our culture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Preach The morning hour. Hey. Hey. For the morning Christ church. Morning. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Uh-huh. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Come on. Jesus. If Jesus yes, is not preached, mm-hmm. the world is in trouble. If Jesus is not taught, the world is in trouble. On on a Sunday morning, on a Sunday morning, on a Sunday morning, a man came to the church and he was sitting in the back of the church. And he scribbled some notes and he handed it to the usher and said, take it up to the preacher. The preacher got the note and he read it and he put it down. And when he got up to preach, he read it and said to the congregation, there's a man in the back of the church. Ah, we used to hang out together. Wow. Wow. We, we used to drink together. We used to run together. But I want you to know that one day God came into my life. The man says that if I, if I stand up to preach, he would stand and tell the church what we used to do. But I thank God that I used to. But thank God for right now. How many in here used to? Let's see the hands of those who used to. Ah, celebrate Jesus. Ah, we used to. But I heard God's word say, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Some way he comes into our lives. He killed our appetite. Ah, for the wrong stuff. He killed our desires for the wrong stuff. 
let the church say amen. I mean, as I take my seat to town metropolitan. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, the model, the John the Baptist model, Amen. is that we must call attention. Well, anybody that comes in this church to worship on any Sunday, uh -huh. we must point them to Jesus. Yes, point them to the cross of Jesus. Yes. Point them to the mission of Jesus. Yes. Point them to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Point them to God the Father. And say to them, hey, God's moral truth don't shift. Human beings will shift. But God doesn't shift. Aren't you glad that He is the same? Hallelujah. Yesterday, not today, and forevermore. Aren't you glad ah, that His name is? Wonderful comes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Aren't you glad uh -huh. that he is the mighty God? Uh -huh. Aren't you glad he's the everlasting father? Uh -huh. Aren't you glad he is the prince of peace? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you glad today that you know Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah today. Yeah. Hallelujah yeah. today. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. Today. Yeah. Hallelujah yeah. today. Yeah. In the name of the Father, Son, yes. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Amen.